Engine. What's up guys and welcome back to Ask Engine. Today we have some interesting updates coming from the folks at Epic Games as Unreal Engine 5, the preview one, is now here. This simply means that Unreal Engine 5 is going to be a thing very soon and there's a lot of cool features and nice things that we saw within the early access that we will potentially be seeing in the final release. I'm very excited about Lumen and Nanite, the idea that you can sculpt directly in ZBrush and bring it right into Unreal Engine and not have to go through the whole retopology thing. I'm also very excited about the calculation of lights and all that stuff. And even more so, we will be getting some nice new improvements and features for animation. So with that said, let's get right into some of the cool things that is now available in Unreal Engine 5, the preview one, and lots of improvements that you probably would notice. So just in case you would like to start getting up and running with Unreal Engine, probably you missed out on the early access, or you want to start playing with the Unreal Engine 5, right now is a very good time for you to go ahead and try it. Starting off, there's a lot of nice things that you'll be getting with this that includes rendering, audio, animation, world map building, and so on and so forth. And so, for those who did see Nanite, these have been improved for stability and also quality performance, as there's a couple of other things that it now supports. So, there is a per instance selection, the new error based metric for fallback mesh creation, there's an improved performance for memory usage, and so on. Lumen has also gotten a couple more updates to this as well, and this also includes the landscape support, there's a glossy reflection, and translucency support, full hardware ray tracing support, which currently doesn't require distance field or any other software tracing. And of course, this now scales up to the world. In terms of improvements, still speaking about Lumen, there's also an improved final gathering quality, which is very visible on foliages. The virtual shadow map has also been improved as well. The path tracer is getting a huge update as the preview one offers improvements in stability, performance, and also completeness. And this includes support for primitive hair, eyeshadow model, and improvements in sampling, BRDF model, models, light transport, supported geometries, and so much more. The world building is also getting a huge number of improvements in stability and performances as well. We're also getting some very cool improvements in animation. As the last time we talked about the control rig, we also saw that the control rig enables you to actually create custom controls on your imported skeletal meshes. Now, this is a very good thing as it is something that is pretty new for Unreal Engine users. So regardless of that, there is a new set of updates and also features that are now available for animation. With that said, let's talk about some of the things that are available for control rig. First off is the ability to create functions that can be shared between rigs. There's also the spline tool for manipulating curves inside of a control rig. There is the dynamic hierarchy and uh, the space switching. This would actually enable you to attach rig controls together and finally, the grab the bugging tool that lets you easily find and fix animation issues. With that said, there's also a couple of new features that are now available with this one, like we mentioned earlier. The first one is a new distance matching and pose wrapping. Now, these two has been combined together as a new feature and the distance matching actually allows you to control the play rate of the animation so that it matches the motion of the in-game character while the pose wrapping dynamically adjusts the pose of the animation to better match the motion of the in-game character there's also a couple of new animation blueprint templates that is available right now and this blueprint logic are not bound to a specific kind of skeleton or asset as these assets cannot directly reference animation asset, but instead they can be reused in the context of other animation blueprints. So the whole idea for this is for you to be able to create reusable animation graphs and these graphs can be transferred to different motions or different characters at a given time. Following that, there's a new IK rig and an IK retargeter. So this is definitely going to be very interesting, especially if you do motion captures and you like your characters to get the same motions directly inside Unreal Engine. So the IK retargeter enables you to rapidly and robustly transfer animations between characters of different proportions across different skeletons and the retargeter can be done either at runtime or for offline creations of new animation assets so lovely stuff for animation are now available in unreal engine 5 preview 1 and hopefully we might talk about this one sometime in the future moving forward within the audio there is a meta sound meta sound is a pretty impressive stuff we saw it previously and it looks pretty impressive to see that audio designers now have a complete control over dsp graph generation for sound sources for sound sources so this has been heavily integrated into unreal engine and the folks at epic games have created an interface system for meta sound that will allow the system to deeply connect with gameplay code so that creators will be able to create rich and contextual sounds. 
So lots of things coming over to Unreal Engine Preview 1. And for those who like to download this, you can simply go over to unrealengine.com and get started with it. And for sure, if you like to get the free marketplace content, link to that is also going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Unreal Engine 5, the preview one is now here. Tell me what you guys think about it in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.